I want to start by asking Mr. Neotia to give everyone here at the India Today Conclave your roadmap for what needs to be done by individual states, by individual companies, and by the East as a region, so that the East of India can compete economically and possibly even beat the West. Well, good afternoon, and thank you very much, India Today, for inviting me. Let me start with a small story, and a story from my ethology. Uh, <clears throat> if you look at our country and you look at different parts of our country, we worship different idols, and there must be some historical significance to the reason why one particular idol dominates the thinking of a people in one particular region. Now, if you take the goddesses, we will see the western and northern states predominantly worshipping Lakshmi. If you see the southern Indian states, the predominant goddess is Saraswati. And if you see the eastern states, the predominant goddess is Durga or Kali. And if you see the three goddesses, they symbolize three very different types of uh, thought process. Uh, Lakshmi predominantly symbolizes wealth. Saraswati symbolizes essentially learning and education. And Kali, which is emotional, strength, in, uh, is, is about creativity, innovation, etc. Now, I think that these goddesses have been chosen as the primal kind of uh, worship because those people of those regions had that kind of inclination. The people in the north and western India were more industrious and they were more enterprising and therefore they were those people who kind of created the wealth. The southern Indian people, as we have seen in information technology and in medical practice, etc., have dominated a lot of the intellectual aspect of it. And Calcutta has been in the forefront of creativity, of energy, of strength, of vigor, and, and those kind of things. It's very interesting that you have this rather karmic invocation of goddesses so I, uh, to suggest why the West and the North are ahead when it comes to wealth creation. But is there a way in which Kali or Durga can meet uh, Lakshmi? So I think that... Uh, <laughs> It's not about beating anyone. I think we have, uh, India's great uh, tradition is in living with all different kinds of uh, ideas together. And I think the natural inclination of the people of the East is to uh, foster in a, in a space of creativity. And I think the kind of activities that we would do best are activities that involve emotional intelligence over, let's say, industrious in intelligence. Now, my argument, therefore, is that it's not a question of each part of India having to develop economically in a similar fashion. We can have different areas of expertise. And Eastern India, to me, would be more suitable for activities around academics, tourism, uh, you know, the creative work. We've had the best uh, talents, uh, writers, thinkers. Uh, philosophers, all kinds of people from here. And of course, they are now businesses too. It's not that they are not businesses, but they're not the similar kind of business that perhaps would dominate the Western landscape. 